All right, my friends, so in the previous video, we talked about tags. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create these smart lists that you see right here. So again, I showed you the benefit of creating these smart lists so that you can condense your database down to uh, so that you can filter it to only see a certain group of, of people inside of your database. You can see all of those right there. I'm gonna show you how to create those inside of here. They are called smart lists and how we create these smart lists is by utilizing tags. We can, we assign those tags to the group of people that we want to assign them to. And then we just save that group of people as a smart list. So really quick here, smart lists are contact lists that allow users to customize and filter contacts based on specific conditions. In this case, we are going to be using tags to create our smart lists. So if you can see inside of here, inside of our CRM for the healing tree, we have five different smart lists. We have approved practitioners, we have inner circle, we have leads, frequent renters, frequent, frequent renters, and we have real magic students. All right. Which each one of these is going to show me a whole different group of people. Our approved practitioners is going to show me approved practitioners. Inner circle is going to show us only our inner circle people. Our leads are going to show me people who have um, applied, but then haven't been approved or haven't completed that process. And then frequent renters and real magic students were other smart lists that I was playing with. All right. So in order to create our first smart list, we're going to open up our contacts right here. And in order to create this smart list, we would need to uh, filter this list by a tag. Okay. So we have, we would have already had to have created that tag and then we would have had to assign that tag to a specific group of people here. All right. The way we would, well, because we don't have a tag already created, uh, we did create the VIP tag in a previous video, but I don't think we saved it. Maybe we did. Um, I'm going to go into my settings section. We're going to go into tags. And let's just go ahead and, and confirm if we have the VIP. Yes, we do. Okay, so what we would do, we have that tag already created. Let's go inside of our contact of our database and let's go ahead and assign this person the VIP tag because that's how we are going to create this smart list by, um, by the tag. Let's see if there's any save buttons. Okay, this should be fine. All right, so we're gonna put Carla K now in our VIP smart list. So it's okay, we can have just one person in the smart list. You can have as many people as you want in the smart list. And now what we would want to do is we are gonna click on where it says more filters over here on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna search um, and we're gonna filter this list by using tag. I'm just gonna show you right here. Um, it's down here where you can see uh, tag right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on tag and then tag is VIP. All right, and it should pull it up. There it is. And now it's only going to pull up Carla K. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit apply. And then again, boom, you see Carla K because she is the only one that has the VIP tag applied. She is the only one that's gonna show up. And now right here, over here on the right hand side, when we apply this tag, we can see down here at the very bottom, it says save as a smart, a smart list. And let's go ahead and hit save as smart list. Let's go ahead and name this smart list. And we're going to call this VIP and members and boom, bada bing, bada boom. Let's go ahead and hit save. And now we have VIP members as one of our smart lists right there. The last thing that I'll show you here is how to manage these smart lists. So you can see right here, manage smart lists inside of our contacts section. Okay. So let's say I wanted to delete this smart list. I didn't want to have this one anymore. Um, I'm going to click on manage smart list. All of our smart lists are going to be right here. We have now the option to copy it, to share it, to edit it. And then we can also trash it, which I'm going to go ahead and just trash it right now, since this one is not going to be applicable to us. And I need to go back and remove that tag from our contact. All right, my friends. So before you can create these smart lists, you would need to have uploaded your contacts, which in the next video, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about uploading your contacts, how to make it easier so that you don't have to manually do it. Hopefully you don't have to manually do it 
if you have other systems in place already, other tools that you're using that is capturing leads, we can export those files and import them into here. That way you can start uploading your contacts and start creating those tags and start creating those smart lists, start organizing your database. All right, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.